guys one it's miss o'callaghan here today we're going to read the queen's knickers by nicholas allen the queen likes to dress smartly so she has an enormous wardrobe for her clothes and a slightly smaller chest of drawers for all her knickers dillies looks after the queen's knickers so she has a special trunk for when the queen goes away One day the trunk went missing. It caused a great crisis and was only just sorted out before it reached the news at 10. The trunk had got mixed up with a picnic camper. The Queen has knickers for all occasions. At the opening of Parliament, the Queen wears her VIPs, which is a very important pair. There is no picture of these, but here is the safe where they're locked up with other state secrets. When she travels, she has special knickers with a small parachute inside them. Just in case. She has another pair for when she's on board ship. But her most special knickers are her Christmas knickers. They are a gift from Scandinavia and are traditionally decorated with real holly which is why she keeps her Christmas message very short. The royal knickers though are her most valuable. They are made of pure silk with gold thread and encrusted with diamonds, emeralds and rubies. They were first worn by Queen Victoria and are rather baggy. I wonder what knickers the Queen would wear if she visited our school. There'd be a terrific flap at the palace. Call the royal knicker maker Dillies. Oh no, far too fancy. Oh no, far too frilly. Oh no, far too plain. Oh no, far too silly. I'll just have to wear my everyday knickers. Then the poor queen would feel very awkward as she's so particular about her clothes. But I would tell her something to put her at ease. Don't worry about your knickers, your majesty, I'd whisper. You see, no one can see them anyway. Then she'd be sure to send a special note to me afterwards by the Royal Mail saying Her Majesty wishes to inform you that her visit was most enjoyable and very comfortable. Thank you for listening. See you soon.